Stop paying those outrageous lab bills. Stop waiting for your AR coats. That's right, if you act now, buy one can of Bob's AR in a can, we'll send you a second can free. It's as easy as shake, rattle, and spray. Start saving today. Hello, and as always, welcome to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center. Years and years ago now, when I very first started Optician Works, I used to have some April Fool's Day kind of gags on there. One of them was quick and easy lunchtime recipes for the tint tank, and another was Bob's AR in a can. I was poking fun at the overwhelming complexity of the real application process for a premium AR coat. So I thought what we might do today is take a piece from our recent lab video and just cover the AR application process by itself. Let's take a look. The coating lab is a freestanding room within the lab that is operated much like a clean room or operating room. Here, Laramie K applies anti-reflective or AR coatings, flash mirror coatings, and selective blue blocking coatings too. Start to finish under the best of circumstances, the application process for a premium AR takes roughly five hours to complete. It is important to mention that five hours is a best case scenario. That five hours cannot be rushed, changed, or shortcut in any way. Once again, the tray is scanned and everything is double checked for accuracy. Each individual lens now gets a thorough visual inspection, cleaning, and gets suspended in a hanger. The hanger is placed in a basket, and the basket then goes through a four-step pre-wash designed to remove any surface contamination. The steps are pre-soak, soap, sponge, rinse, and the process takes about eight minutes. Next, each lens receives a thermal hard coat or thermal cured scratch resistant coating. This is a 10 step process that requires about 28 minutes. The steps are etch, spray, bath, dryer, activator, activator cure, foundation application, and pre-cure. The lenses will now be inspected for any flaws in the thermal coat process and then move into the final curing rack where they will remain for two full hours. After the thermal hard coat is cured, each lens must be re-ringed to match the equipment in the next phase. These rings are the ones that will hold the lens in place in the collet within the actual application chamber. Once ringed up, the lenses will go through another preparation process similar to the pre-wash. This will etch the hard coat so the AR layers have something to hold on to. This pre-wash takes about eight minutes. After pre-wash, the lenses go for degassing or drying in an oven for one full hour. The last step before entering the application chamber is a final inspection in the flow booth. The flow booth blows filtered compressed air across both surfaces of the lens and minute particles of debris can still be safely removed with careful use of a sterile cotton swab. As each lens passes inspection, it is loaded onto the collet. The collet is loaded into the application unit along with a tray of compounds that correspond to the layers of the AR stack. A vacuum is created inside the chamber and an electron beam vaporizes the compounds at temperatures that can reach 2000 degrees Celsius. The vacuum in the chamber ensures the extremely high temperatures are not transferred to the lenses. The vaporized compounds are deposited one at a time on the surface of the lenses, creating the layers of the AR stack. The first round requires 27 minutes per side, or 54 minutes to complete. The 
chamber is then reopened and a new set of compounds are added to create the hydrophobic and no-slip powder coat layers. This requires 10 minutes per side or an additional 20 minutes of process time. Once that is complete, the lenses can be removed, visually inspected, and then sent off to final inspection. I do hope you found that helpful. I think the more you know about the complexities of the AR application process, the easier it is to talk about it and to sell it. Be sure to also check out the Laramie K Optical website. Uh, there's a really good blog article, an interview with Norm Kester from Quantum Innovations. Uh, they're the folks that are behind AR product development, the machines that apply AR. So there's some really great information there too. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. If you liked this, hit the like button for us and by all means, leave me a comment.